lately there's been a lot of clones of player options dot com coming online and uh, so what these are are C to C marketplaces where potentially a person who plays a video game can sell their game goods to another person who plays the video game. However, usually what happens on these marketplaces is that businesses move in and provide all of the gold, which is kind of natural because players tend to consume more than they produce and so that's where the businesses come in. Um, to fill in for that gap. Uh, and what happens is most of the businesses that move in, they're just resellers. For example, uh, for one business to be able to deliver gold on every single server of World of Warcraft, they would have to hire a whole lot of people. And that would just be a ridiculously huge operation. And what happens typically in RMT is that uh, a reseller is going to offer gold on all servers, however, uh, whoever delivers that gold could be one of 20, 30, 40, 50 different uh, smaller companies called a studio that produces or farms that gold. However, these studios grow up big and they begin to have their websites eventually and what can happen is that they will say hey customer come to my website the next time that you place an order and what's happening is that uh, the reseller on your marketplace doesn't even know this however your buyers are going to report it and the question is who do you punish how do you make sure uh, if a reseller was at fault for this action taking place for promoting off-site trade or if it was a third party and this all happened without the reseller even being aware of what was going on. Well, there's a very simple tool that you can use. Uh, just go to DomainTools.com, type in the domain which was uh, advertised, uh, hopefully uh, the buyer can provide that, and then click on search. And what this does is called a who is lookup and it's going to tell me who owns this website so now we're looking at our information uh, so for uh, the website getgoldfast.com it's owned by someone named John Hoffman and here we have his email address and you look down you even got uh, telephone numbers uh, mailing addresses and all of this information you can use with your own back end if you happen to be running a uh, C2C marketplace. And so what you need to do is first do the who is lookup and then see if any of that information matches your reseller. If it does, then you have pretty much indisputable evidence that you should do something to punish that reseller, uh, such as uh, suspending their account or maybe even giving them uh, some kind of a fine. Uh, perhaps on uh, future orders coming in. If the information doesn't match, then what you should do is just record the details of the report. For example, for every order that comes in, there is a server, there is a game, uh, and as you know already, because I just told you, most resellers do not have uh, the ability to pro to get the gold themselves, so they use maybe 50 different suppliers. And so what you got to do is just uh, warn that reseller, give them the details so that reseller can suddenly talk to their suppliers and say, hey, what the hell are you doing? Don't do that again. If you do, then I'm not going to be able to ever put give you any more orders. Uh, and it's, that's a very important step is, is giving your resellers that information because if you don't give your resellers that information, then uh, there is a risk that uh, whatever this third party is, they just might be providing other resellers at your player-to-player -player marketplace. And that compounds the problem because now you're going to suddenly, if you're not doing your homework, you're going to be uh, acting against and punishing multiple resellers that have done nothing wrong and uh, they're going to be uh, powerless to stop the problem but uh, so first give a warning give the details and then wait for patterns 
and uh, through the patterns, like if it happens on a whole lot of servers, or uh, if it happens for different games, and the same URL is being uh, given to buyers to promote offsite trade, then you know for sure that you are acting against the correct reseller.